Okay, now I want to share with you a little bit of code. And a little bit of code looks like this. Here, I was able to show you how to gain access to a target's position. Okay, that's pretty interesting. But I also want to show you that you can gain access to um, an allure angle. And an allure angle just says, okay, if this thing rotates, I want to be able to see what the radius or rotation is based upon Z when it reaches a certain point. So what I did, I wrote it as a variable. And you do not have to write it as a variable. There's another way to do this. You can actually be cheap about it and write it in a print statement. So I can have it something like this. Print transform allure angles like that. Okay. But what I wanted to do was make it so it's a variable. And if it's a variable, I can pass arguments. Like if it's greater than a 30 degree, do something. If it's greater than 30 degree, do something. That type of deal. That's why you do it as a variable. If you did it as a print statement, you can't use it within an if statement. I want you to start getting used to that. All right, so let's go in here and get file, save, and then go in here and hit play and show you exactly what this is. So right here in the corner, now it's printing out. Of course, if I wanted to, I can print it out over here. I showed you how to do that. Um, but you can see that the as it goes and rotates around, here's about a 90 degree angle. Okay. And then I can go all the way to a negative or a 180 over here on this side. So zero to about 180. And I'm sure if this character was even up on this block, the enemy, you would see that it goes around the other way, all the way to a 360 degrees based upon the code. All right. Now, um, what also I wanted to show you is the difference between the XYZ rotations upon this kind of system, what we're used to as far as X, Y, and Z, and the Quantirion and how it interpolates between the two. So here is the Quantirion level of calculation, and then we're going to look at the just normal XYZ kind of rotation of things. So here's Z. So that means I can have an arrow, I can see the code, and if I hit maximize on play off, I can hit play, and I can compare the two numbers together. So let's just wait till it settles down here. So I have 106 here. But if you look over here, I have 0.26. Wow, that's a little bit different, isn't it? So hopefully that allows you to see the difference between a Quantirion and uh, the normal XYZ. Here's at 13.12. Over here it's 13.13. .13. So it gets a little, it, it gets down to the very, very accurate science of things. So you can see it climb over here, but at some point, 90104, and you can kind of compare the numbers back and forth. And if you really wanted to do it, you can print the statements side by side. So if you ever want to see the rotation of something based upon and use it for code, that's how you do it. I know it sounds dorky and it's probably not very useful, but I still wanted to kind of share it to you to try to explain the Quantirion. As, as again, I would state as a disclaimer, you know, you should do some research upon it. Uh, you know, I'm a coder, um, I'm an artist, but I'm definitely not a mathematician. Okay? So, there we go. That's my uh, diagnosis of the Quantirion. Enjoy!